Hi everyone, you all can see uh, the blood vessels on my hand and arm. Okay, so uh, it's possible that we can see our blood vessels from outside, but it's very painful if I want to see if I want to see them from inside. So now we cannot see our blood vessels from inside, but we are lucky enough that we can see the so-called blood vessels that is veins and veinlets in a paper leaf. I want to share the results of an experiment that I conducted on a paper leaf. So let's get started. So the name of the experiment is reticulate venation in a paper leaf. Okay. Here I have a paper leaf. You all can see. This is the midrib, the main vein. You can see the other veins also. But what about the other fine veinlets? We cannot see them, isn't it? Right? So, what I did, I conducted one experiment on a paper leaf. I soaked this paper leaf in water for about a month. It got rotted like this. You all can see that it has got rotten here. Okay. And now, if I rub this rotted portion off, like this with my fingers with my hands the fine network will emerge okay now i'll show you one dry leaf that i have so here i have this paper leaf which is dried right and you all can see this beautiful fine network of veinlets also isn't it right isn't it amazing? Yes, this is so beautiful, just like a net. And this network is called reticulate venation. We are not able to see the veinlets otherwise in a paper leaf, but with the help of this experiment that I conducted, we can easily see these beautiful veinlets too. So you all are aware that these veins and these veinlets, they transport the nutrients to the entire leaf so that the leaf is able to conduct the process of photosynthesis. So I hope students you all have understood the concept of reticulate venation also and uh, you would all do this experiment too to understand the concept even better. Thanks for watching.